you go. That's Coldplay and Christmas Lights. And that was actually a really lovely tune. Yeah, it's very sort of... Uh, calming. It's calming, yes. We've got a caller on the line. Yes, we've got Adrian who wants to talk about Doctor Who. Hello, Adrian, can you hear us? Yep, I can hear you. Hello, how are you? Oh, we're good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm good, cheers. And it's been a lovely show. Oh, thank you very much. Did you listen to it from, like, nine o'clock? Uh, not quite that, not quite that early, but I've been listening to it and I heard a bit about the Daleks. Oh, the and, Daleks. Um, and I might be needing your services at some point in the future. Oh, so fantastic. You'll have to make sure you've got your details at the studio so I can get hold of you. Yes. <laughs> yes, we we'll do. make sure we leave some contact details for you and then we can then sort something out with the Daleks. Yes. Um, I wanted to let you know about something that we've got going on with, with the Radio Christmas. Oh, right. Um, it's my mum, ha- I was in the studio um, with Jack and Dan mm-hmm. on the morning show um, on Friday. Yeah. Um, my mum has a book out, Jolly Quickly, The Jumping Bean, Rockets Into Space, um, Cheshire Mortar, um, it's a local person. Mm-hmm. Um, it has a forward by Doctor Who actress Katie Manning inside. Oh, ah, we were talking yes, no, about that earlier. We were talking earlier, about Katie Manning earlier. Because we've got pictures of Katie Manning... Um, with the Dalek, and that was done in March this year. Yeah, because uh, we got invited to the Forty Crest Hotel in Sippenham. Yeah, it's the, the it Copthorne Hotel, I think people know. Cop- yeah. Cop- Copthorne, yeah. that's it. Yeah, not Forty Crest. What am I thinking of? And uh, there was Katie Manning there with John Levine, um, Richard Franklin, Terence Sticks was there, many, many guests. Yeah. And, uh, I, I'm actually I get- have a feeling I was at the same event as you. Ah, oh, right. do you remember the red Dalek? Um, um, I there was a Dalek that was situated um, in the in the main room. In the main the in the main the hall, thing. there was a red Dalek down at the front where yeah. all the guests were being interviewed. That's I that, possibly got a photo with your Dalek then. That's the oh, one. All right, we'd love to see <laughs> that picture. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we we had a photograph taken with all the guests at the end of the day. A little thank you from Derek. Uh, the organiser, because Tenth Planet, who did the whole show, who they put on a really good show, don't they? And it was called Unit Day, if I remember yes. rightly. Unit Day, yeah, because the last time I worked with John Levine and Richard Franklin was uh, 20-odd years ago, down in Aldbourne, Wiltshire, and we did the return to Devil's End. Oh, yeah. I don't know if uh, you... Did you go to that? I probably didn't go to that particular one, but I've been going to quite a few over uh, recent months and things, and by all the different people that, you know, organise them. Yeah. And I've seen so many marvellous people, and the, and Katie Manning is a lovely lady. She is and she is a, gorgeous, yeah. and she she's a sport. Hoot. She is so funny. She's, and, oh, she's... And I, I'll say, her forward in this book, it, you know, anyone that... I mean, basically, the cost of the book is £6, and you can buy it from the Radio Christmas studio. £4 of the 6 will go straight to Radio Christmas um, to raise money. The forward is marvellous. It encourages reading with children. We it, have you know, been given the importance of it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, because we've just been handed a copy of the book into the studio. Duncan has just rushed in with it and he stuck it in front of me, and we're just having a flick through it. It's actually a really lovely book. It's brightly covered, a coloured, I should say, and it's lovely bold writing. Yes, so that's available, and it's worth getting. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. And uh, literally. Meet local people, go into the studio, there's, there's, there'll be a copy there for you. You Thank know, and let's raise some money for street kids. That's you know? excellent, that's excellent. <laughs> and it's about much. Katie Manning as well. I mean, yeah. what a coincidence that was. We were talking I about know. that yesterday. Yes, we were. Yeah. Maybe we can send him a picture. Maybe if you email the studio and the studio uh, email Phil, and then we can then get in contact with you and send you the picture of Katie Manning with the Dalek. Yes, we can do that. Would we you can... like that? Yeah, yeah. Well, I can. E- I'll try and email in the studio with the picture that I've got with the, with your Dalek. Okay. If you like and at the same extra. time, we can and do we're spot. Ex- We can. We can. Maybe what I can do is put the picture of Katie on the Radio Christmas Facebook page, and then everyone can enjoy it. Yes. We we'll do that. We could, we could do Adrian, that. Adrian, yes. it's been fantastic talking to you. Thank you for phoning in. You too, and great show. Yeah. Thank you very much, and we'll speak to you soon. Cheers. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Happy Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that was nice talking. That's great, isn't it? So that's a jolly, quickly, The Jumping Bean, and it's written by Susan Lacey, illustrated by Nicholas Milano, with a foreword 
by Katie Manning. Right, on with the music. What have we got coming up? Uh, touch me when I'm dancing. To touch me when I'm dancing. I forgot because I was so engrossed in we looking so at this book. Sorry about that. It's people. the Carpenters. Touch me when I'm dancing. dancing. 